This video is the beginning of a sequence on sorting and searching. So much of what we do with computers these days is data manipulation. And when you're working with data, some of the key things that we need to be able to do are to sort them in particular orders or go looking for data in large data sets. For this reason, the topics of sorting and searching are kind of critical and key aspects to the field of computer science. Now, we're going to start off looking at some fairly simple sorting and searching algorithms. Turns out that there are a whole lot of different sorting algorithms. For searching, it's more of a limited number, but we're going to look at two of those as well. And in the case of sorting, we're going to limit ourselves for now to a certain set of types of sorts. In particular, we're going to work on sorts that happen in place and are what are called comparison sorts. So what does that mean? Well, the sorts that we're going to work with work with arrays and they have saying that they happen in place means that we're basically going to use the same memory for the original array and possibly one extra block but we're not going to have to make a completely new chunk of memory to hold the results we're going to do everything by moving stuff around in the original chunk with maybe one extra so these are potentially more efficient for memory if we can do them in place. Saying that they are comparison sorts means that these sorts will work on anything as long as we can do a comparison and ask, for example, should one item come before another? As long as we can do that, we can use the sorting algorithms we're going to talk about, and that is a remarkably general requirement. You know, that doesn't restrict us much. Not only can we do sorts on things like ints, but we can do comparisons between strings. We could do comparisons between case classes where we want to sort by certain elements in them. For example, we could sort students by their names or by their grades. There are lots of different things that we could choose to sort by. And a comparison sort will work for any of those as long as we can ask, should one value come before the other? There are other sorts that are not comparison sorts. They take into account more information about what it is that they're sorting. Those sorts are often potentially faster because they know more about what it is that they're sorting, but they're also less flexible. So we're going to focus on kind of simple, flexible comparison sorts that happen in place on arrays.